<coughs> Welcome back. Now, with only a week gone in the new year, many of us are still reeling from the financial punch that was Christmas. And while the festivities might have seemed like a good idea at the time, now may be a good opportunity to reset and give your wallet a break. Yes, here with his top tips for balancing your budget in 2018 is financial advisor Paul Merriman of AskPaul.ie. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. morning. We have the best of intentions right through this whole show. Yeah. We are promising everything. And <laughs> one of those coach. things Healthy is wallets. getting our finances in order. Yeah, finances. January is that time when everyone reassesses literally yeah. everything. And finance should be right up there. Uh, it's the time to reconsider maybe the decisions of last year that weren't that good, uh, the things you maybe did incorrectly. And if there's a hard month financially, yeah, it's this all, one, yeah, isn't this it? This was only the hardest month. So, I mean, we have our top 10 tips. Before we get into them, one of the tips I think I recommend to everybody, no matter how many, no matter what, what, what client they come across, no matter how rich they are, whatever they have, only a few quid a week or millionaires, I always say the wallet system works really good or the envelope system in your wallet. So just bear me in this one. Say January is going to be the worst month probably, as you said already. Okay? Yeah. Let's say you only have 200 quid in the bank account. Take the 200 euro out of the bank account and put 50 euro in four envelopes and that's all you have for each week for the next three, four weeks. And that's it. And if you get through to Wednesday and you have all your money gone, you know you're in trouble. And you just try, mm. try and live it that way. And that's a really t good tip that goes through the whole year. So it doesn't, this is going to be a dry month, obviously, uh, and a really difficult month to get through. But trying to put them into the envelopes and get your head around that you only have X amount and don't use your debit card. The reason I say take them out of the bank is that when you use your debit card, I think debit cards are even worse than credit cards now because when you use a debit card, you can't keep track of your spending. Mm -hmm. So you just spend the money all during the week and you're not keeping track. If you have that 50 euro in an envelope and you open it on Wednesday and there's only 10 or left, <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, but you know there's only a tenner This is going to be tight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then by next week or the week after, you should get better and you can kind of keep much better on your spending. OK, well, let's crack in on into your, uh, your tips. Number one is, first and foremost, budget. Yeah, budget. So personal budget. Everyone should have a personal budget, uh, I think. <clears throat> uh, as like, I always say to people, if you have a limited company or you're a business uh, and the business is getting into difficulty, people always know how to cut business costs. Mm -hmm. It's the same for the house. You're not to watch your utility bills, watch your spending, watch your discretionary spending. And the big one for the budget is try and get as much income in as possible as well. So that might be the second job or a part-time job uh, on top of a full-time job, or it might be uh, selling some things in the house that you don't need or you haven't got. Old computers, old PCs, old Xboxes and really trying to recycle as much as you can and trying to bring in as much income by the end of the month as possible. Because to be able to turn that stuff into cash is easier than people would think. It is, it? especially with the likes of eBay and if you look at the buy and yeah. sell, there's loads of different online ways yeah. where you can get rid of stuff out of the house you don't need. Uh, I reckon, on average, I'd say everybody has a grand in their attic, as my set. I think everybody, if they go through their press drawers and up into the attic and find stuff and they put them online, they'll be able to make a grand. Yeah, and it could be your holiday fund, even. A friend of mine yeah. does that. Just yeah. selling random yeah. stuff on buy and sell or whatever. Yeah, holiday and fund, yeah, it's, it's a great one. Yeah. Or even again, for January, if you're tough, finding January tough, uh, try and do that and try and get yourself extra income in. And you have those Excel spreadsheets on your Facebook page, yeah, don't so you? Yeah, so the Facebook page, as Paul, we have a video how to go through the personal budget template. And not also that, we also have, if you email me your questions at Ask Paul or just send me an email or a message on Facebook with your email address, I'll email you the template. So it's very easy to get yourself set up with the personal budget. Very okay. good. The next one, this sounds an awful lot easier than it actually is. Become mm. debt free in 2018. Yeah. Wouldn't we all look to be debt-free <laughs> in 2018? Yeah, I think the debt-free one, uh, this is something that is a challenge for the year. Uh, and it's about that discretionary spending again. So maybe not certain savings account, we'll get into them later on. But trying to use all your excess cash to get rid of your debt. So make this the year where you want to try and get out of debt as much as possible. For some people, it's going to take two or three years. Some people, you have to do it in a year. The biggest tip here in getting out of debt is to try and start with your smallest debt first. So if you've got three or four different, say, credit yeah. card loan, a credit card, and a small credit union loan, you get rid of the smallest one first. Ignore the interest. Some advisors out there are going to say, you go over the biggest interest, but that could take you three years, yeah. and you still have three loans. And you're still paying the So three psychologically, loans, right? it's, called, it's called a debt snowball. Psychologically, you're more likely to succeed, 70% more likely to clear off your debt by using a debt snowball. So start the lowest one first. Say it's 50 euro a month. Get all your money against that. So you can get 200 quid a month against that loan. It'd be finished quicker and then you use the savings from that repayment for the next loan and so forth. You go so to make those accelerated payments to speed up the term yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly, to the smallest one and then you get rid of that cycle. You've got, right, got two loans left instead of three and then you put all your money against the second okay. loan, get rid of that as quickly as possible and all your money towards your last loan. And it's a really, really good way of getting out of debt quickly. This next one, Paul, I have, I have a cynical point of view on this one and I'll give you my theory, maybe right. I'm mad. But you, your tip here is get rid of the credit and debit cards, the cash is king. Yes. Now, this is my cynical point of view, and I get up in my soapbox and tell me what you think. <laughs> the banks at the moment are making it impossible for us to deal in cash. 
yeah. they don't want us to go in there anymore. Yeah. They've gone from five tellers to three to one. To none. To none. <laughs> so, yeah. And even I if you go in for cash, they don't have it. I went yeah. in, oh, I, that happened to me yeah. recently. Yeah. I went in to make a withdrawal and they hadn't, no, I wasn't looking for a fortune. Yeah. But they actually said to me, can you come back at 11? And I'm going, Sorry, if I went into a shoe shop or something, this is a bank, <laughs> isn't it? We haven't got it. it, it am I being cynical or is it because they can charge us it's money so true, for yeah. internet well, banking and for debit yeah, and credit cards? I think cards. society is going cautious. You look at the pay, pay Why? Like Apple Pay and Why, all these different though? things. It's supposed to make it more convenient, they say. But, but it's but less I, secure if it, it's online. It, I think it is as well. I think well, my point is about the debit card is that if you have a debit card and you're using it for every transaction, you do 10 transactions during the week, it's yeah. impossible to keep track of what you spent your money on. So my tip is, say again, back to what I said about January, if you have, say, 600 quid or, say, 800 quid for the month to spend, it's great, 200 quid a week, take it out at the beginning of the week just from an ATM. Just take 200 quid out, put it in your wallet, put it in your yeah. purse, and that's what has to get you till next Monday. Yeah, yeah. The 200 is a lot. It might be 100 for some people. Again, back to 50 quid or 60 quid for some people. Whatever that amount is you spend, don't rely on yourself to be paying it through your debt because that cup of coffee a day adds up, the lunch adds up, the one pair of shoes or a jacket, it all adds up. Cards. You are, you're being charged to use cards, a big one. Yeah, it's a waste of money, in my opinion. Saying it's your cash, go in and take one transaction at the beginning of the week. Now, usually, I say monthly. If you take one transaction, say if it's a thousand euro, two fifty a week, take a thousand out at the beginning of the month. But then again, people in the banks will say, "Well, it's not great to carry cash, even if it's a small yeah, amount." Yeah, there is a security home, issue. We don't want people keeping too or... much money in the house. That's where the weekly one works quite well. If you're going to work on a Monday morning, stop at the ATM, take your budget for the week out, keep in your purse, your wallet, and you know that's what you have to spend for the week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, stop smoking is a big one, and there's uh, you mentioned the coffee and bottled water and things yeah. like that that we don't necessarily have to buy. Yeah, the bottled water and the coffee for a day. I mean, if you're looking. For 40 weeks, 100 years, Monday to Friday, if you're going to work and buying a bottle of water or coffee, it's around 1,100 quid a year. <laughs> like, 1,100 quid a year in coffee or water, man. But it, it, it just <gasps> adds up, but people I don't realise, and that's what the whole idea is to try and make people yeah. realise that two or three quid a day really adds up. The smoking is Ugh. obviously a nightmare for health and for everything else, but for saving, I did this, I gave the cigarettes up about three years ago and I saved over 4,000 over 24 months. Uh, actually, again, yeah, there's a video of me doing that up on the Facebook page, Ask Paul as well. Uh, I put in a big jar, counted at the end of two yeah. years. It was over four grand. It was, it, was, it was amazing. What was it, four grand? Just over four grand, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, like, that's... Re and that was only literally putting everything under a tenner a day that I, I would have spent on fags into a... Uh, into a Can I ask you a very quick question, because <clears throat> it was the topic of a conversation during the ad break. Claiming your last year's tax back. Yeah. People are afraid to do this, as in, check with the tax man, Am I due tax back in case the opposite might yes, happen? That, yeah. And they go, actually, there's actually, an no underpayment and here's your bill. Come in and see us. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's the, the P21 balance statement. So yes. when I say claim your tax back, the easy one for me to do here, and without getting into that with accountants and another, yeah. another day's discussion, would be to put in for your medical expenses. That doesn't trigger anything like that. So your medical expenses for last year, that's the really big one here. Your med yeah. one is on the Revenue My Account website. You just log on and get your 20% for all your medical expenses last year. And, and that's a really those, quick win for this year. All those details are on your website. All Ask those Paul details are on Ask Paul or the year on the Facebook page. Okay, we'll Brilliant. get through the rest of the, the bullet points next time. Never enough time. Never enough time. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Paul. Cheers, Still thanks. to come, fitness, fashion to give you some gym inspiration. Stay with us. Yeah. Do you like that?